The Sheck Report with Dave Damashek reporting. Damashek here. Week five's in the book, so let's get right to it. Just remember, players and coaches, don't get angry at me if I call your name. Ultimately, I didn't do this to you. You did this to you. Let it begin! At number four, this new thing with players swapping jerseys on the field. Look, like everybody else, I enjoyed the Odell Beckham kicking that detente. But for the rest of you guys, come on. All we fans ask is that you care as much as we do. And part of that is at least pretending you aren't pals with the guys we just spent three hours rooting against. At least Odell and the net didn't do this. And by the way, you players are role models. What if this catches on elsewhere? Shame the devil if Hillary and Donald had done this after Sunday night's debate. Quick, let's move on before you can conjure that visual. At number three, it's time for the new game show, Mad, Sad, or Glad QB. You tell me if the quarterback is Mad, Sad, or Glad. First up, Ben Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger. End zone. Touchdown. He's glad he just threw a touchdown pass to Sammy Coates. Next up, it's Joe Flacco in Baltimore. Flacco sends all his receivers out. Throws into the end zone. It's incomplete. He is sad. Probably a little mad, too. And lastly, Phillip Rivers. And the snap goes off the fingertips of Kayser. It's rolling around. Yeah, he's sad. And we're all sad for you, Phil. More on that in a bit. Now it's time for the Everyman, presented by the Campbell's Chunky Everyman All-Star League. This week we've got two, the first of which fittingly goes to Calais and Jared Campbell for taking football baby to his first college football game on Saturday night. Sorry about the Canes, fellas. But for what it's worth, football baby went 3-1 and one this week. Second one goes to the Steelers' throwback get-ups. Call them what you want, the bumblebees, the jailbreaks, the homage to 80s hairband striper. I call them glorious. You don't agree? You're wrong. Now you're never going to see him again because the Steelers are retiring them. In your face, Antonio. At number two, punters and kickers who are bad at football. On Sunday, the Ravens and Steelers attempted fake field goals, and things did not go well. Now, sure, it'd be easy to condemn the coaches, but let's really think about it. These kickers are literally the only guys who put the foot in football. Shouldn't they at least be able to play football? Then again, I guess I could also point out that the actual football players should know how to spike a football. But I'm too classy for that. And that brings me to number one in this week's brown paper bag of shame, which goes to the football gods. Now look, we all know you have some axe to grind with the Browns. Well, and the Bengals too. And apparently the Niners. But what on earth did the Chargers do to deserve the treatment you're giving them this year? Whether it's a blown 21-point lead in Week 1, another blown lead in Indy in Week 3, the fourth quarter fumbles in Week 4 or the coup de gras, the drop snaps in week five. I guess the real question is, how did the Jags lose to this team by 24 points? Matter of fact, let's give them the brown paper bag of shame. At least it'll cover up those helmets. Till next time, try not to embarrass yourselves. Shame.